Hey guys, Delta here, and welcome back to my NHL 14 GM mode series. Uh, we're picking up exactly where we left off at the end of October, beginning of November, and we're gonna we're gonna make a couple moves here quickly. Uh, head into roster moves. Let's go take a look at my defenseman. There's one guy that I can call up without having to send down who should be able to step in and not be horrible. That is Dmitry Korobov. So we're going to recall him. Let's go and edit our lines. Uh, Syracuse. Let's see who steps in. Okay. That guy steps in. So Tampa. We are going to have him step in for Malhotra. Can scratch Malhotra then. And now we actually have six defensemen. To, uh, to hopefully last us through until Brewer and Good Branson come back. Uh, in addition to that, let's see, let's just take a look at the stats. So Panic's got 5 points and 12. Connolly is, okay, so that's, we're going to leave things as they are there for now. Um, unless I want to, I want to maybe give Druin some time up. Up top, he's been playing well. I may as well give it a shot, right? Um, you know, we're off to a decent start. I'm going to leave things the way they are for now. If things go belly up, then, you know, we'll start changing stuff. The one thing I do want to change is I want to go change my strategies a bit. Wow, salary cap <laughs> available. I am less than... A hundred grand under the salary cap right now. Oh my god. That's insane. Okay. Coaching options. Strategy. How should we do this? Cycle a bit more. Okay, that should work. Let's get these guys trying behind the net and see what happens. Uh, and other than that, that should work well. Let's try shooting on the power play. Or, umbrella. Okay. Let's, uh, let's give the strategies a chance. Uh, and let's just hop into things. Let's sim through the month of November. Get through a few months here. Because, uh... Obviously, we want, this series is going to be spanning multiple seasons. We don't want to be spending 20 minutes on a single month. Okay. Back out, and through to the end of... There we go. Seemingly through to December 1st. Let's see what happens. So, good. Branson will be back in 10 weeks. Brewer back in 6. So, Brewer should be back about mid-December. Uh... Then we're looking in January for good Branson. There's a there's a good start, a 4-1 win over Carolina. There's some things I definitely need to do with this team right now. Uh, one of the big things for me is I want a, a better third-line center. I want to get a young playmaker with potential who can... who Raymond and Connolly, who are currently the wingers on that line, guys who they can feed off of... or a guy that they can feed off of and that will develop and uh, become a solid option. Uh, right now, like the market is not looking that great. I honestly can't think of anyone who's going to be relatively cheap to acquire, coming on a cheap contract that has some potential. Uh, it's hard to find. That's quite... <laughs> you know, I'm asking for a very good piece there, someone that would have a lot of trade value normally. So we got a few wins and a couple losses so far, and there's another win. So we're 11 6 and 1. This isn't bad. The team is doing well compared to what I'd expect from be. Stamkos has 17 points in 17 games. Uh, now he's under a point per game. I do worry about that first line because it has two playmakers and a sniper. I'm not sure how that dynamic would work. I'd like to have. And see if. Even if I put Purcell on the. Uh, on the second line, uh, Philpil is a playmaker, so 
He's a good player, but he just seems kind of out of place. How often is it in, in an NHL game that you, you have a situa- situation where you have too many playmakers? Generally, I look at my roster and it's like, I don't have any playmakers here. I need to draft some or I need to trade for one or, or something. Ah, we're, we're rattling off some wins now. Looking good. And there's a loss. The back-to-backs have gotten us a couple times so far this month. Brewer back in two weeks, so we're getting closer to having uh, a better defense. <laughs> Soon, soon. The team's just going to get stronger right now. Ooh, big win. 6 2. 15 8 and 1. This is like, I was not expecting the team to be playing this well. I suspect they'll drop off in the second half of the season. But this isn't bad. I wouldn't mind some of those regulation losses being overtime losses like Pittsburgh here. But this isn't bad at all, really. Six days, so Brewer will be back in the next... He might be ready to go for the start of the month. It's now December 1st. Okay, okay. Uh, let's just let's just sim through to this Columbus... Or sorry, the, uh, the game against Winnipeg. I should be able to... I should get a prompt really soon here. It might be this game right there. Eric Brewer is ready to play. So I'm going to put him back in on the second pairing. Uh... You go there, or here, how am I going to do this? Replace him with Leopold, replace him with Lee, and then scratch him. I'm not going to send him down just yet, because I need a seventh defenseman right now. And Leopold should be on the power play instead of Brewer, because he's got uh, better offensive capabilities. And let's just, let's just take a look here. Looks like Drew Ann's popped up a couple overalls. He was 67 to start, I think. Uh, and same with Sang Winnetti. He was 76 to start, and now he's 77. So, uh, I'm just going to stop the simulation, and then we'll sim through straight through to the end. There's a 3 2 win. Now let's sim straight through to, uh, to January 1st. Whoa, what happened there? January 1st with the game against my team, the Vancouver Canucks. We're doing well. Ottawa's do- doing really well. <laughs> Already over 20 wins, and uh, a loss to them, not a uh, surprise. They, they're they probably on top of the standings. Uh, once we get to the end of this month, we'll, we'll stop and we'll take a look at uh, at the progress reports and the statistics. Uh, maybe scour the, the trade block and see if there's anything available of interest that can help. Because, uh, like I was mentioning earlier, I definitely want to get... Uh, a, Maybe not an immediate improvement on the third line center, but a playmaker that can work well with those two snipers. Got to do the scout assignment right now. Uh, let's see. Let's spend some time with the defenseman in the OHL. Give him a month for 46 prospects. Uh, 17, 12, and 1. Let's just take a look at the standings. And see how things are shaping up. We are oh, we're fifth in in our division right now. It's not in the playoffs, but hey, that's um, we're not far out of a playoff spot. Stamkos is looks like he's probably in the top ten for goals and then assists. St. Louis, I don't know points. Uh, no one there. That's uh, slightly disappointing. I was I'd be hoping for more production, but I guess the team is, is just weak in general. Schneider's got great numbers, though. Look at that. 935 save percentage. 1.99 goals against. That's fantastic. The team just got to score more. Uh, let's actually take this opportunity and actually, since we haven't done it at all yet in this series, let's let's look at everyone's stats for uh, whatever point in the se- 30 games into the season. There we go. Why not? So Stamkos is 28 and 30. St. Louis just behind him. Purcell, there's a drop-off to Purcell, uh, who's playing his off-wing right now. I'm thinking Druin is playing well. I might bump Druin up and give him some time on that first line. Uh, see what happens. Hedman, Panic is playing well. Filipula, Sanguinetti. Sanguinetti is putting up numbers. I'm, I'm surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised by that. Uh, Connolly is struggling. You know, I might I might go and look for a winger to step in that spot. And actually, would he have to go through waivers? If he has to go through waivers, then I don't want to I don't want to do that because I would almost certainly lose him. 
Uh, other than that, it looks pretty solid. Of course, Goodbranson has not played much this season. Uh, Tatar's down in the AHL. Korobov is did well as a fill-in. Even. Two points. Ten pims. Seven shots. What else? Eighteen hits. A lot of giveaways, but... You know what? Not bad. Not bad for an AHLer called up to Philly's spot. Uh, let's take a look at the AHL and see how those guys are doing. Because I actually, I don't even know what the record is. I haven't been looking at the crunch. They got 23 games played. Kalorn is leading the way. Tatar is not as doing as well as I'd hoped for a guy that's rated 78 overall. But uh, team is is doing decent. No one really standing out. Let's uh, actually just go and look and see what their record is. 13-8 and 2. Hey, that's not bad. And uh, now let's just sim through to the end of December, the beginning of January. I'm going to let things roll a bit more with these lines. If it continues to struggle, I might jump in here. and Because uh, we've lost a few games in a row. There's a win. Uh, if, if we continue to lose a bit here, I might jump in and tweak the line, see what uh, what I can come up with. Come on. Win, loss, win! There we go. There's not, Oh, but another game against Detroit back-to-back. -back. I expect we'll lose this one. Yeah, the back-to-back -back is key here. I, I know it, it probably auto-switches the goalie for one of those, so... Uh, I wouldn't be shocked if that game had Lindbergh in and we struggled. So that's two losses in a row now. Come on. Get back on track, guys. There we go. 4-1 win. That's good. Good Branson back in two weeks now, so he will be back sometime in uh, early January. And we'll have our full decor back, which will be fantastic. GM rep has gone up. Nice. I'm not sure what for. Maybe winning, I guess, winning 20 games or something like that. Ooh, high-scoring game, but a loss against Florida. Cross-state rivals. Not Okay, seven days till good Branson's back, so yeah, he will be back shortly now. That's going to be a huge boost to the team on the back end, getting uh, a guy that is actually better suited for a top-four role and letting Sangonetti uh, hang back a bit. He's getting those points probably because he is on the power play, and... Let's see what the power play percentage is. Uh, see what it is, and then we'll make a decision if I want to take him off. Because obviously, I want to—I want to give Good Branson as much time as I can to develop, but I also want Sangonetti to develop uh, team reports. Let's see. Uh, power play is not that great; just under twenty percent. Penalty kill is doing pretty well. So. Uh, let's let's take a look and see what what we can change. Well, first things first. Let's uh, yeah, I think let's yeah, let's do this to start. Replace Brian Lee with Eric Goodbranson. Scratch Brian Lee. Let's take a look at Goodbranson's. Uh, offensive abilities. They're not as good. It doesn't look like... Well, I don't know. They're not as good as Leopold. Let's see how he compares to Sanguinetti. They're similar, but he's got a little more offensive awareness, so I'll let Sanguinetti continue to play the power play. Uh, but, good Branson gets in the top four there. And, of course, he will play on the penalty kill. Paid a lot to get that guy. Partially on accident. He better turn out well for me. Uh, next order business is to send the call-up back down to the AHL because I don't need him on the roster anymore. And he can go through waivers freely. Down to the A. And we'll slip him back into the lineup right there. Scratch that guy. And we are good 
to go. Let's take a look at everyone's stats again, and then, uh, depending on how things are looking there, we will make another shift in lines. I want to see how the young guys are doing as the season continues. Uh, Stamkos is up over a point per game now. Good. Uh, Louis, Purcell, Hedman, Druan. Is Druan still fifth on the team in scoring? Not bad. Uh, but Purcell, you know, I kind of want to get him on his proper wing. Panic is slipping. Uh, Connolly is not doing much, nor is Raymond. Or Pius, third line is you know, chipping in a little bit. Hell, even Crombie's got seven points. That's surprising. Let's see. Okay, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna make some changes in the lines to see what happens. Coaching options, edit lines. Let's give Druan some time on the top line. Uh, Panic's a left-handed shot, so I'm gonna put him on the left wing with Purcell playing on his correct side now. Uh, maybe do I want to put Panic down the third line and do a kid line sort of thing? Move Raymond up. I think I'll leave that as it is. Let the the kids get the ice time. Uh, flip guys around here. Okay. That looks acceptable to me. Uh, penalty kill. No, I don't want that. I want... Uh, who's the next best forward with good defensive awareness? So we got Samkos, we got St. Louis, we got Philpula, and then Purcell. Or let's do Raymond. Let's do Raymond on that wing. And that's good. Fourth line. Yeah, okay. That's good by me. Let's uh, let's let's run with that. Go take a look at the strategies again. Maybe tweak them a bit. I'd like to get that third line going and providing some more offense. But that's the thing. We got two snipers on the wings, and then a two-way forward in the middle. I'd ideally like to have a playmaker there with them. Maybe I switch Filpula, and uh, even though he should be my second line center, maybe I switch those guys. Put Purcell on the third. Could work, but. I don't know. If this doesn't if this doesn't work, maybe I'll try that next. Cause of course we are a rebuilding team. I can mix and match and see what happens. So I don't want to mess with the first line. I'm happy with what they're doing. Second line. Uh let's see. I'm gonna leave the strategies as they are now with the new changes. These guys, what should I have them do? They're not really big and strong. Let's get them on overload again. Maybe get them to play exactly the same as the uh the top two lines. With that, don't worry about blocking shots as much on that line. Let them carry a bit more. Uh, but other than that, that line's looking good. And I think that should work. Let's let's run with that for a little while. Um, sim through the month of January. And then see where things stand. Hopefully, no more injuries. That's a big thing. Uh, my rep went up, so I should uh, I should take a look at staff upgrades actually uh, before moving on. No, oh, not an option. Got to go straight. Got to go through the GM tracker. Fifty-eight. Okay, nothing to upgrade. But hopefully, no more injuries to bother us for a while. Sim through to February first. Starting off with the game against my hometown team, the Canucks. With a win. A 2-1 win. Solid, solid, solid. Western swing. Calgary. We gotta beat them. Screw Calgary. <laughs> Another win. Yes. 25-15-1. I did not expect the team to be doing this well. I really didn't. You know, maybe for all I know, in like March and April, this team is gonna just drop like a rock because I've had that happen to me simming through seasons before where like we lost I think all of five games until February and then we lost every, almost every game the rest of the way it drove me insane okay scout assignment where should I send you where 
a decent enough prospects that it'll be worth. Well, I haven't scouted the queue at all. Let's uh, we gotta send some guys there. Continue the sim. I wish scouting didn't interrupt the sim like that. It would really be nice if it would restart like it does when you go and uh, put an injured player back in the line. No trade offers in a while. I don't, I'm not going to mess with my trade block because you guys can try, keep trying to put Marty St. Louis on there. Marty St. Louis is not available. At least not unless... I think the only way I would trade him is if uh, like we're out of the playoffs and I could get some like a ton of picks for him. It's about the only reason I would do that. But now, like, if this keeps up, I'm not going to have a high draft pick, which doesn't help a rebuilding team. So Corey Schneider's getting the start, gets the loss to uh, Lindbergh's probably going to get this, or Lindback. Wow, I'm saying Lindbergh, I'm, I said that earlier. I'm getting confused with something else. It's Lindback. Back-to-back -back losses against... Not happy about that. Let's beat the other... Okay, we beat the other New York team. That's something. That's good. Still, record is a lot better than I was expecting. San Jose, come on. Come on. There we go, a win. 30 wins on the season. That's an accomplishment. <laughs> Another win. Wow. Jeez, they are doing well. Stamkos and Stamkos, St. Louis, and Schneider must be carrying everyone. I wonder, and I, I'm excited to see how Druen is doing on that top line now. Is he going to crumble under the pressure of playing against tougher opposition? Or is he going to feed off those two guys? We shall see. We shall see. And hopefully Schneider's numbers are still keeping up. He is having a goals against average under two is fantastic. It's the only reason we're winning games. Another loss. Ah. At least one of those was an OT. That's something. That's better than nothing. A point. That's good. Okay, taking on the Leafs. Definitely don't want to lose to the Leafs. We just lost to the Leafs. Alright. <laughs> Ottawa. Uh, oh yeah, this is the team that's been like really good. I think they're on top of the division right now. And another loss. Urgh. Okay. A weaker finish. Uh, a disappointing finish to the month of January, but otherwise really strong. Let's take a look at... Oh, let's see what's going on here in trades. Derek Morris. Okay. Whoa! Jordan Subban. Wow, that's... That's quite the prospect to give up for Vinny Prosper. Jeez. Trader down Utica standings. Wow. Vancouver's last in their division. Calgary's on top. That is upside down. I'm not saying the Canucks are going to be on top of their division, but, like, Calgary on top? What? Fourth. Ah, oh, we only moved up. We're oh, we're in a three-way tie for third in our division. Whew. Okay. Let's take a look at, uh, at stats. See how everyone is doing at this point in the season. Should be, what, 50 games in? Yeah, 54 games in. Getting down the line, Stamkos with 60. St. Louis, 54. That's good. Purcell, 36. Druen has struggled. It looks like 26 points. But hey, he's nearly he's nearly at 20 goals. Uh, I can't really complain with that. I'm going to... I think I'm going to let that continue. Uh, he's he's averaging slightly under half a point per game, it looks like. So, I was... What did I say? I said 30, 40 points at the beginning? I can't complain. Filpula is disappointing, though. 24 points. I know he doesn't exactly have the strongest second line, but come on. Panic has dropped off. Sanguinetti has dropped off. Whew. Uh, maybe I will move Raymond up a line and have a kid line with Panic and Connolly with Pyatt, and maybe I'll go looking for an improvement at center here. That's slightly disappointing. Let's go take a look at the goalies. Schneider's still put, putting up good numbers. Lindback, not that great. But he's got more wins than losses. Um, can't really complain. What's his save percentage here? 93, hey, that's good. Those are good numbers. Schneider is keeping us in it. Alright, that, uh, that should just about do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. We're at the start of January 2014 now. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video around, and I'll see you next time.